is on the bottom. Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and this is what's Azalea. Your, Azalea. <laughs> so we are going to talk about sugar and where extra sugars are hidden in your food. Now I am doing a huge webinar on Thursday at 8 o'clock. So if you are not signed up, click the link that's attached here, sign up for the webinar. I'm going to be diving into a ton of nutrition, nutrition for women's hormones, protein pacing, carb cycling, intermittent fasting, all these things. So much info, but we're going to talk about sugar, right? What's, what, are you, what, what, are, what are some of your favorite things that have sugar in them? <laughs> because yeah, we were just, I was just Doritos, asking. Doritos, that's one that my mom doesn't let us eat, but my dad's yeah. kind of a little bit of a pushover like my grandpa. Okay, yes, we don't, we don't eat Doritos. So. <laughs> but we try them, they're delicious. So, yes, so there is, um, but things with sugar in it, sweetheart. What, is there something that you like that has sugar? Okay. So, I'm trying to think about it. Okay, you think about it and you let me know. Chocolate. Anything is chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate has sugar in it. Yes, absolutely. So, there are a lot of sugars that get hidden in foods that you may not realize. So, I listed a couple of things here. Now, anything that is listed like a blank type of syrup. So, any type of... <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Did you have sugar? <laughs> um, corn syrup, rice syrup, tapioca syrup, anything that's like a food or some type, even if you're like, oh, well, that's corn, right? Oh, corn syrup, right? That's a, that's a sugar. It's some type of sugar. No one wants to see up your nose. <laughs> no one wants to see up your nose. Okay. Okay. Hey. <laughs> And then even something like corn sweetener, that's another name for a type of sugar, right? And then when you look at sugars, it'll just say um, any syrup, sweetener, or just saying like coconut sugar, something like that. Yes, it's made of coconut. Great. It's healthy. Sure, but it's still sugar, adding sugar. And that can mess with your blood sugars, which messes with how well you can um, kind of monitor your cravings. So if you are really having a hard time with staying on track and you're like, oh, I just can't manage this sugar craving. And you're like, I'm not eating bad things. Well, even if it's, you know, coconut sugar, it's still sugar and it's still having an effect on your system. So some of the other words, do you know what some of these words are? What's this one? Syrup. Yep. Corn sweetener. Dextrin. Dextrin. Yep. So what's dextrin? Dextrin. Melted Sure. Yes, dextrin is a malted starch. So what that means is it's an artificially, or it's a kind of, a, it's not artificially, but it's a created sugar. So they're they're just malting starch. So also something if you are a gluten free person, look out for dextrin because they might, that might not be gluten free. Then that whatever product you have, what's this one called? What's this one say? Dex, dex. Dextrose. Very good, dextrose. What is dextrose? Sugar from corn. That's right. So wait, sugar. Wait, wait a second. There's sugar from corn. There is sugar from corn. Corn is a grain and has a lot of sugars in it. And they extract those sugars and they call it dextrose. Isn't that fancy? But it's really just sugars from corn. Now what's this one? <laughs> Sucrose. We did not practice this beforehand, so this is all like wow. fresh. No, just this one. Sucrose is just what? Sucrose is... Table sugar. Just table sugar, right? Everybody's familiar with it. When you think of sugar, you I immediately think of that white little bowl of sugar that's on your table. Like the one Janet gives us. Okay. And then what's this one? Glucose. Glucose. And which is your, it's the same type of sugars that's in your bloodstream. So all mammals have glucose in their bloodstream, right? And that's the same thing. But you can also create that. That's something that you can create a, a molecule that's like glucose. And then what's this one? Lactose. Lactose. Yes, that is? Milk sugar. Milk sugar. And then there's yes, also things like fructose. Milk. Fructose is also sugar from fruit. So there's a lot of different places that there can be sugar created and it can sound fancy 
if it's in a product. So you may be, you know, consuming something, right? Like that... oatmeal or bananas. Oatmeal or bananas, yeah. Oatmeal, I don't know that you can put brown sugar on your oatmeal. That's what I know you do, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, you love the brown sugar on your but oatmeal. Do, but do bananas? We, well, bananas are a fruit, so they have fructose in them. What a fructose again? Fructose is the fruit sugar, is the sugar that's just in fruit naturally. So it's, it, it's one I thing it was that... it toast with fruit in it that comes from fruit. <laughs> no, but there's a lot of ways that sugars can be hidden in your food. So if you're getting sugars from a natural source, if you're getting like eating an apple and getting that fructose from the actual apple, that's going to be something that's very different. There's also a lot of fruits like an apple or berries. There's a low glycemic, which means that they're not going to spike your blood sugars as much as other, you know, foods and fruits, things like that. Um, but when you're looking at sugars and really, especially around the holidays, and if you're getting a lot of, you know, packaged food, which I know happens and it's so hard to try to eat whole food all the time. I totally get it. What are you, what are you reading? <laughs> um, she's just staring at the screen. Um, that it's, it's really hard to just get whole food all the time. But if you are looking at a lot of packages and you're noticing, I really want to get cut down on my sugars. I don't want to store sugars. My body doesn't react well to sugars. Um, my stress levels increase. Or if you're under a lot of stress, realize that your body will store sugars just automatically and store it in fat cells. Um, mm -hmm. So kind of keep that in mind. But these are things that are hidden sugars in your food that you might not immediately think of. Like, like they were like, oh, I don't really know what that is, but it doesn't seem that terrible, right? Oh, it's not like popping in my head as a big red like flag mermaids. of something like mermaids. You don't want to have mermaids in your food. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to have mermaids in my food. <laughs> I know that. So thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> I just like that. Bad. Yes. So, but these are things that can be hidden in your food, your packaged food that all of a sudden you'll be like, oh, dang it, why am I having this issue? I thought I was eating pretty clean. I thought I was making some good choices. Why am I struggling? And it can be just some of these hidden forms of sugar that are in your food. So these are some of the things that I talk about that I, um, in some of the groups that I run. Um, I have a fit and festive group going on right now that if you're not in, you should be in because we have so much stuff going on in there. Um, but I am doing this webinar. I will be covering a ton of detailed information, but sometimes it's little things like this that make a big difference in terms of the, the results that you're getting. If you're stuck, if you're frustrated, if you're like, why is this not happening for me? I'm trying to do all these good things. <laughs> Kim, you're saying infectious laugh. I know, right? She does have an infectious laugh because it's so funny. <laughs> but if you're frustrated, if you're stuck and you're wondering why, why does it seem to be so hard for me? It, it's not, you know, it's not you, right? You could just be trying to make a good choice unaware that it's one of these little things and your body's under stress and it's storing that sugar like that. So by switching things out, by changing things up and making different choices, you can all of a sudden shift your results. Those are the things that I'm really passionate about helping women get to, like finding and uncovering these things that are getting you stuck and keeping you stuck and getting beyond it. So, what are you... <laughs> Time to do the thing cover nine times. Yes, I know. So, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Is there anything else you want to say about sugar, sweetheart? Is there... Okay. I'll write it. You're going to write it? Oh, okay. I know my words. We sometimes think of that. Oh, no. Wait. No. How how about this? How about for right now, can you say... Just tell candy, people... Candy, candy, candy. Blah, blah, blah. Candy, 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 candy. So what's blah, one blah, thing blah. about sugar? Does mom let you eat a lot of sugar? No. No. No, mom doesn't let you eat a lot of sugar. Why is that, do you think? Because sometimes you go like, yes, 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 blah, blah, blah. That's what they say about me. Healthy, 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 blah, blah, blah. When mom's doing work. Oh, mom's doing work. What do I say? Healthy, 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 blah, blah, blah. Healthy, 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 healthy. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Healthy, healthy, that's, healthy. That's what they blah, think about what blah, I do. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you? Are you a healthy kid? I didn't know. You don't know. Do you Do you think you're a healthy kid? Well, kind of, because once Papa and I let us have cake for breakfast. Okay. But do you think you're a healthy kid? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Cake. <laughs> Cake. But of course, that's what she's going to talk about. So if you guys have questions, please let me know. Um, but otherwise, tune in to that webinar, and I'm going to be going over a ton of information. And if you're not in that other Facebook group I have, please join now so you guys can get tons and tons of info before it ends. All right, are you ready to say goodnight? Because it is past your bedtime now, isn't it? Nighty night. Nighty night. Ha, 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 ha.